Hello everyone and welcome to the next major tutorial here on duct tape stuff. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a duct tape laptop case for your laptop here. Before we get started here we do have one birthday today so happy birthday Avamite and hope you enjoy this tutorial. I did get a request a while back to make a laptop case on today as well as make it with a kind of a Halloween theme so I'm going to be using some very distinct Halloween colors for this tutorial. But nevertheless uh, let's get started here on this major tutorial. The first thing that you're going to do is take your laptop out, obviously you want to make sure it's closed, and you're going to measure the laptop in th for three measurements. You're going to measure the length of the laptop, the width of it, as well as the height. So take your laptop here, measure the width, the width here, the length, as well as how high it is. So once you get the three measurements, we'll be able to move on to our second step. So write those measurements down, and then we'll move on. Uh, so basically my measurements for the laptop I just had were 15 inches long and 10 inches wide. Now before we really get started here working on the laptop, I just want to let you know that I'm going to have to assume that you have a basic understanding of how to work with lo fairly long strips, strips of duct tape as well as making the ever popular sheets that we normally make here on this channel. So if you have a de decent idea of like if you made like uh, folders or something along, uh, something along those lines, something that uses a lot of really long sheets of tape, then you're going to have a bit of an advantage because we're going to be using a lot of long strips as well as a decent amount of those fabric pieces of tape. So basically, I'm, like I said, the the, uh, the laptop was 15 inches long and 10 inches wide. You don't need to worry about the uh, the height of the laptop yet, so we're going to save that measurement for later. So it's 15 inches long. We're going to cut out a strip that's about an inch longer than your laptop. So, th so my laptop was 15 inches long. I made these all these uh, strips here 16 inches long. So basically what I'm going to do is take my first 16 inch strip, I'm going to flip it over, and like I said, working with really long strips of tape is very, very difficult just because there's a lot more to stick down and there's a lot more area to mess up on when you try to apply it evenly and without any air bubbles or anything like that. So I'm just going to hover right over top of it, make sure it's lined up on both sides as well as the top and bottom and then just lay it right down, just like that. And then just stick it down. It might be a little bit hard to get towards the beginning, but if you just, you know, just take your time. Now obviously you want to try to get as few air bubbles as possible. A, little, a few little nicks right here, but that won't make too much of a difference. Next thing you're going to do is take your next strip, and like I said, you're going to be cutting out a whole bunch of these. You're going to apply it and overlap it by I'm going to say a little less than a quarter of an inch. Just like this, very, very carefully. Make sure that you're all lined up. And then just stick that down nice and carefully. Take your time with this. It really doesn't have to, there's really no rush at all. Then you're going to flip the whole thing over. And you're going to cut out more of these 16 inch strips, and at least in my case it's 16 inches because it's 1 inch over 15 inches. And you're just going to keep applying these back and forth, back and forth until you have a long sheet of duct tape. Now remember I said that the that my, my uh, laptop was 10 inches wide, so I'm going to go to 11 inches. So you're going to get your ruler here, your ruler, and you're going to line up the top here with 0, and I'm going to come all the way down here to 11. You can't really see it on the camera here. All, all the way down here to 11, back and forth, back and forth with all these strips of tape. So take the time now, just take your time, cut out all the strips, apply them back and forth, back and forth, until you get that sheet of duct tape that goes all the way down to here. Remember, one inch past where your laptop ends. Mine ended at 10 inches, so I'm going to 11. So do that now. Okay, so after you're all done applying strips, this is basically what your sheet is going to look like. Now, I almost hate to say it, but now what you're going to do is make an exact duplicate of this sheet that you just made. So obviously, I'm going to do mine in a different color. I'm a different color. I'm actually going to make mine orange, but basically what you're going to do is, you know, just take the same length strips and come down the exact same uh, width here, also, also 11 inches. It's going to be on my, on my next one in this case, and you're just going to apply the strips the same way and make an exact duplicate sheet. So take the time. Uh, if you did really well on this sheet, that's great, and make sure you can do a great job on the next one and make sure that they're exactly the same. So take the time and make that second sheet right now. 
Okay, so now I have both of my two sheets made. I have the first one way underneath here, and obviously I have my laptop sandwiched in between, and I have my second sheet right on top here. That's obviously the bright orange. Now, basically what you're going to do is now, back when I told you how to measure the height of the actual, the, uh, you know, the height of the actual laptop, it turned out to be one and a half inches high on the sides here. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to take your second sheet here, and you're going to line up directly on the center, and you can pull the top piece and the bottom piece together and basically this will let you know if you're, if you're able to seal it right up and, and you're on your way to go but if it doesn't and you can kind of see on the side there it doesn't quite seal up there's just a little bit of gap in between where you can actually see the laptop and it's a hard to see but basically you know exactly what I'm talking about and it's gonna be the same on the sides and on the obviously the bottom here if that happens and you just made your um, your uh, sheets a little too small I'm gonna show you the really easy way to just connect the two together without obviously having that sticky side inside which would be showing inside and the laptop would get stuck on it so if, you, if it does work for you and you're able to peel those two sides together and they do overlap on all three sides here, the, the two sides on the bottom, then you can just take the, the uh, strip of tape that's the same length as the sides and seal them together. But if it doesn't, like icon like, like here when you have a little bit of a gap, I'm going to show you how to make a strip that's going to serve as the, the bridge between those two gaps. So determine whether you need to uh, put a gap in between there or not, or if, if you're just if it works, then just stick a, a couple strips on the side and you're good to go. But for this one, I'm going to show you how to put the gap, like bridge the gap on there. So that's next. All right, so the, the length of the gap that I'm trying to bridge on the side of the laptop bag, I know is 11 inches because that's what I, how uh, wide I made the uh, the sheets. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out two, strips with, two uh, strips of tape here that are 11 inches long, and I'm going to stick them together just like this. And I'm going to do it in gray, and I'm, I'm going to attach the uh, parts of the... Uh, the sides in gray so you guys have an idea of what is being attached and you know to give you some contrast between the uh, the orange and the black there so once you have the uh, that strip obviously that's going to go on the side here of the laptop bag and you're going to make another strip for the uh, the other side the same length 11 inches and then for the bottom one you're going to make it the total length obviously of the uh, the total length of the laptop bag here so this on the bottom here should be should be a 16 inches so you are going to put make those two strips 16 inches stick them together so do put those uh, three those three separate strips together now so um, I have my top sheet here turned on its side and obviously this is the left side of the uh, the, um, the laptop case, and this is going to be the top sheet here, so I have those two strips that are stuck together. I'm going to lay it right down here, and this is basically just the bridge in between the two gaps here. I'm going to take one 11 inch strip, and I'm going to stick this piece directly on top of the flap here, so that effectively just attaches it to the, uh, the flap here. Basically what I'm going to do is flip the whole thing over, just like this. Take my second piece here. Lay it right on top. Just like that. I'm going to line it up. And then I'm going to fold this piece. And I'm going to fold this piece in half so that it attaches the, uh, the same amount on this side as it did on the other side. And this will effectively add a little bit more length to the... Uh, well, actually, add the uh, some depth to the bag. And basically what you're going to do then is just take another 11 inch strip and basically what you can do is just apply it just like this and this kind of, that kind of just sticks it right on there just like that and then you just fold it and then stick it down directly on top of this sheet here just like that so basically what we've, we've done here is just Add a little depth to the bag here. See, obviously that adds a little bit of the, uh, the gray part here where there would normally be I have a sticky side here showing in the inside of the bag. Now we have that piece there and there isn't any sticky side from this strip here. So basically what we're going to do is throw the laptop in there and then we're going to do exactly the same thing on this side over here and then exactly the same thing on the bottom here to make the bag. Now obviously we're going to leave this part up here open and that's where the laptop is going to be slid in and out. So do those other two sides now, the right side here and the bottom. All right, then. So this is what it looks like after it's all been sealed up. It's got the two sides as well as the bottom done the exact same way. It's got the opening here up the top, obviously, and on this side it's black, black and gray, as well as orange. And obviously you just take your laptop here and you just slide it right in.
And there you have it. Now I would recommend, especially if you have like a heavier sort of laptop, that you definitely do reinforce probably the sides as well as definitely the bottom. Just make sure that your laptop doesn't you know take a crazy trip to the ground. So um, definitely make sure that you do reinforce the bottom just with the extra tape or if you have some Gorilla tape that always helps too. So make sure that that the bottom does, definitely doesn't drop out. You can add a flap here. I know uh, the laptop cases that I usually use don't have flaps, but you can add a flap here that goes right over the top here. It connects on one side and just folds over. You make, would make that just basically the same way that we made the uh, giant uh, sheets here. You make one giant sheet, attach it, you know, and th that's the flap. Um, to modify some of the ways you can modify your uh, laptop case, obviously you can put pockets on it. Basically you would make pockets just the same exact way that we've been making pocket, uh, pockets on pretty much anything else in the uh, duct tape world that I've, I've showed you. Basically, you know, you just make a sheet of tape just as, as long as wide as you want the pocket. Then just uh, say if it was a, a giant square, like say if it was a, a pocket this the size. You make one that's the uh, the size of the credit card here, seal it on three sides, and then obviously you have, you know, your pocket. And you can make a flap on the pocket as well to, so that, you know, that stays in. And you can add those like where, anywhere you want really on your laptop case here. To do the strap, it's pretty much exactly the same way I showed you on my backpack as well as my on my book bag tutorial. You just take a long strip of tape, stick it, um, flip it over, take another strip of tape, stick it on top, work it along and then you just keep applying those in a straight line until you have a long, really long strip of tape and you just apply it wherever you want it on your laptop case here and then you can make sure that you definitely do reinforce where it is applied to the laptop case because obviously that's a part that can get kind of weak and eventually you know break off and then it goes your, lap your laptop to the ground. So make sure you do reinforce that as well when you do put a strap on there depending on where you put it on. So that's basically how to make a duct tape laptop case. It does take an awful lot of duct tape and uh, hopefully it, it, you guys uh, did a pretty good job on it. I know there were a lot of long strips and that can really mess you up especially if you're not used to working with long strips. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will uh, be posting more videos pretty soon so stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time. So take care.